What's up, heroes? My name is Silo Clone, and welcome back to Ace Academy. It's a new day, a day after exams. Let's see what awaits us in this adventure of Ace Academy. Ah, uh, the birds are chirping. It's time for a new day. And our alarm doesn't go off. Another, another great thing. The sun is shining through my window. Oh, oh, excuse me. The sun shining through my window splashes on my face and wakes me up. I stretch in a wide yawn and glance at the clock. Nearly ten. I'm glad I got a chance to sleep in after the party last night, but I don't want to waste my weekend. I hop out of bed and get ready for the day. What's my plan for today? I th ooh. My oh, we have some good options here. A couple of good options. I should thank Yuna for all her help finding a sponsor. Mayu owes me a violin lesson. Yes, she does. We're going for the waifu. Mayu owes me a violin lesson. I wonder if Mayu's free today. I'm still really curious as to how she is on the violin. Taking my phone out of my pocket, I tap Mayu's name. She answers only after one ring. Hello? Hey, Mayu. It's Sila. Hey, Mayu. See if she's free to play for me today. Cash in on the private show. I hope you haven't forgotten about your promise. Well, let's see see if she's free. We're gonna we're gonna take the nice option here. I was just calling to see if you're free today. Not at the moment. Damn it. Denied. Oh. Wait. I mean, I'm not free because I was just about to call you. Where are you now? This has got me excited. I I can feel it. Really? I promised I'd play for you this weekend, so that's what I'm going to do. Dang right she is! I, may, I might be a little too excited for this, but I don't care. Wow, she doesn't take her promises lightly. That being said, I'm really excited to finally hear Mayu play the violin. Alright, do you want me to meet you in the music room on campus? Okay, I'll head over right now. She's really excited too, you can tell in her voice. Great, me too. I'll be there in a few. Did she just hang up on me? Psst. Mayu Akimi flashes across my phone. Hello? Uh, I'm so sorry for hanging up. I meant to say, okay, but I just nodded my head instead. No, that's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I suppress a chuckle. She sounds so cute when she's flustered. She really does, though. It's okay. Real soon. Now, who, Mayu? You, Mayu. All right. See you. There are a couple of awkward seconds of silence before she finally hangs up. I guess she was making sure not to cut me off this time. Sometimes I wonder if she's too polite for her own good. Never do. Never do. Time to head out. After making my plans, I head downstairs. Let's see if Nikki's around. We haven't seen her or Uncle Kaido in a while. Didn't see you there, big bro. Hi, Nikki. What's going on? She seems to be back to her usual self. I'm glad to see you're feeling better. <laughs> oh, yeah. I definitely am. Was she feeling sick? I feel like a terrible brother because I don't remember. As she speaks, a devilish smile graces her lips. What now? She's up to something. Anyway, you going out today? Yes, I got a private violin lesson. I'll see you later. Let's go! Yeah? Why? She starts giggling. Did she overhear my phone conversation? Mm, no reason. What do you know? Tell me. Okay. Hey, I'm actually glad I ran into you. I want to apologize. Apologize? Yeah, I saw your text from a couple of days ago, and I'm sorry I didn't answer. I didn't have my phone on me, so I didn't see them until too late. Nikki crosses her arms. Crap. Yeah, sure. Likely story. Dang it, kid. No, really. I accidentally left it in my gear. <laughs> what? Yes, I can't believe it either. I'm that dumb. Twice. Oh, come on. At least come up with something more believable. You believe me, I can tell. What's more believable than the truth? Okay, then, I was just ignoring you. Not my problem if you don't believe me. What's more believable than the truth? Let's not piss off our sister anymore. No, really. It's the truth. What was your phone doing in your gear in the first place? Charging. 
She blinks at me. You really are hopeless. That's what all of my friends said too. Look. I pull up my messages and flash the phone in her face. Rolling her eyes, she reluctantly takes a look. <laughs> what? What do you mean by oh? Nikki bites her lip as she continues scrolling. No. What? She hands She hands back my phone. That's not the reaction I was expecting. Something's up. I narrow my eyes. I don't like the oh no. What did you do, Nikki? Um you might not want to go into the garage. What did you do to my bike? The garage? My bike. I spin on my heel and race toward the garage as Nikki cries out for me to wait. What did she do? Throwing open the door, I feel like a hand is squeezing my heart. She wrecked my bike, didn't she? Nikki catches up with me and cringes. Now, before you get mad... Why did you take my bike out? Nikki? Just remember that I was really, really annoyed with you. Did you paint it pink? Wanted revenge? Uh, that's not a question. Did you paint my bike pink? Not helping. She quiets down, but she can't stand the silence. At least it looks really pretty now. Oh, I swear to God, if my bike is pink. It's like a unicorn threw up all over my baby. All I can do is stare in horror at the glittery desecration of my beautiful bike. It... Uh... Nikki hides her face in her hands. I'm sorry. Uh, you bet. You're, you're going to wash this up. I promise I'll clean it up. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you will. Let me get a bucket. Hurry up. I've got about half an hour before I have to get to my violin lesson. Nikki turns to leave, but I sigh. Not right now. I have to go. I take another look at the pink sparkles winking in the light. Pull yourself together, Siler. Let's do this. Maybe I should take the bus. No, I can't. The bus won't come for another 20 minutes, and I need to leave now. Okay, uh, I'll clean it up later then. Uh, I nod. With a grimace, I reluctantly ease myself onto my bike. The engine roars to life and glitter flus flutters behind me in a rainbow trail of happiness. Doesn't scream, awesome bike. This is so embarrassing. I arrive on campus and park as far away as I can. There is absolutely no way I want to be caught riding my bike while it looks like that. I quietly, I quite jog before I arrive on the main campus quad. I'm breathing heavily and feel warm by the time I arrive, so I take a few deep breaths to cool down. <sighs> yeah, that's really gonna help. Pulling up the campus map on phone, I plan the route for the music rooms and make my way to the cluster of liberal arts buildings. Then enter the music hall, a time I am very a place I am am actually very familiar with after my college experience. The first two practice rooms are empty, while the third has a petite girl with her back facing the door. That's Mayu. Is she really that tiny? She hasn't noticed me at the entrance yet. Greet her. No sneak attack. As much as I want to, just greet her. Hey, Mayu. Boy, does she look pretty. Doesn't she look pretty? I think she looks pretty. She cautiously turns towards the door, but smiles when she sees me. Hi. Hello. After offering a wave, I walk towards her. Her instrument is already unpacked, and her music is on the stand. I'm surprised by how fast you set everything up. Uh, oh, I got here as soon as we hung up to practice. Oh, she wants, she wants to be prepared. Can't argue with that. Got to get warmed up too. Get the fingers moving. Practice. Yes, I haven't played for anyone outside of family, so I got a little nervous and wanted to practice. Ain't nothing wrong with that if it takes off the nerves, making sure you're prepared. But there's no pressure here. I mean, you're just playing for me. It's nothing serious. It is. Never mind. 
Never mind, I'm sorry. Mayu blinks after realizing she raised her voice. She looks down meekly and shuffles her feet. I'm just more surprised she yelled at me. I mean, it's my first time. The amount of dirty jokes that just ran through my head. Rain it in, Siler. Rain it in. This is Mayu. Carefully. Your choice of words. I'm glad the game agrees with where I went. Let's hear it. I believe in you. I believe in her. Let's give her the confidence she needs. Just pretend like it's a practice session, and I'm not even here. Like in the Harry Potter books, this is my veil of invisibility. The pop culture references. They try, and every time it makes me just kind of facepalm. I pretend to put on a cape over myself. Mayu giggles. Put on my cape of invisibility. Oh, she's adorable. Forget that. I take a seat on a nearby piano bench and watch as she readies her violin and bow. She still looks a little nervous and retunes her violin to help her relax. Once content, she closes her eyes and begins playing. Holy crap. It's beautiful. I'm listening to her music. Shh. Question mark. Why'd it stop? She stops abruptly. Mai opens her eyes and looks dejected. I'm sorry. That must have sounded so awful. I made so many mistakes. I didn't hear any mistakes, and I'm a musician. Is anyone else as confused as I am? It sounded pleasing to me. <laughs> Maybe her nerves are affecting her performance? You were awesome. You need to put your heart into it. Let's do round two. No, let's, let's give her the encouragement. That was, that was awesome. I, I was sitting here listening to it, and I'm a musician. What do you mean? I thought you were wonderful. You're just saying that to make me feel better. No, I'm not. No, really. From a technical standpoint, your playing is brilliant. You've inspired me. I'm an awful violin player. I flip around and face the piano. Let's do it again. Together. Can our character actually play piano? Mayu blinks in surprise, but nods. Apparently so. My fingers hover over the piano keys as I glance back at Mayu. She nods at me and readies her violin. We play music together. Holy crap, our character can actually play piano. That's that's quite a surprise out of left field there. That was wonderful. Exclamation point. She's still blushing. She looks so adorable. I can't get over it. Fanboying here. The music fades to an end as we stare silently at each other. While there are no words, I feel the bond between us grow stronger. Yes. Yes. You were incredible. This was all you're doing. This is you are wonderful. We were incredible. Mayu beams and nods. Can I get a hug? Please? I didn't know you could play the piano so well. Neither did I. Your violin made it sound good. Just another one of my talents. It's from practicing. No, 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 no. Here's what we're going to do here. We want the girl. We tell her it's all about her because, let's face it, our character wasn't going to tell us he played piano unless her violin brought it out of him. Your violin made it sound good. I was really just playing off of you. I wouldn't sound nearly as good without you learning, without you leading. Mayu blushes shyly. <laughs> I don't know about that. I know that a hundred percent. Have you ever considered playing as part of an orchestra? To my surprise, Mayu nods. Actually, when I was in high school, 
I was invited to audition for a spot in our local community symphony orchestra. That's incredible. That's amazing. How'd you do? She looks away. I didn't audition. Well, why not? It's just not something I could have done. Why not? Because you've never played in front of people? That's the wrong thing to say, dude. No, I mean, sort of. I was nervous about that, too. Auditions are kind of scary. Mostly it was because I knew my father would never approve. What do you mean? Did you ask him? Her eyes grow wide at the suggestion, and she empathetically shakes her head. Of course not! Well, why not? She sighs. Akimis are pilots. It's in our blood, and it's uh, what we are born to do. I get it. I get you now. We can see if we can change Daddy's mind. But is that what you want to do? Mayu blinks at me. What do you mean? Do you want to be a pilot is the question. Is a Gia pilot what you want to be? Yes. I've never considered anything else. Touché. What about being a musician? The fact that you are asked to audition for a professional orchestra proves you have the talent. Music is important for a well-rounded education, and it keeps the mind sharp, but it's not a profession. I take offense to that. I take offense to that, but she's being something was kind of fed there. I, I've heard that before. I still like her, though. Of course it's a profession. Think of all the musical geniuses in the past, the composer who put together the music we just played. Okay. Character, shut. Shut your face. We don't want to keep bugging her. Mayu blushes at her outburst. Besides, I probably wasn't good enough to earn the seat in the orchestra anyway. That's not true. I can you can hear did you hear that in her voice? The voice acting just didn't it was great. She she's just kind of upset about it and she really wanted to do that. She shyly looks away and speaks quickly as if blurting an afterthought. I can tell this is her way of justifying passing up the audition. Mayu shuffles her feet as silence settles in. Hmm. Awkward. Continually awkward. Simple question. Do you enjoy playing music? She looks up at me, but doesn't hesitate in her response. Yes. Did you enjoy playing music with me? She blushes. It would have been so cool if you had a smile there. Then the only thing left for us to do is to start a band. Okay. Mayu blinks. I don't know about that. Then a duo. It's purely to keep our minds sharp and ensure we have a well-rounded education. Nothing professional about it. A smile plays on her lips. Well, I can't argue with that. It is true, music is a part of a well-rounded education. It makes you use your brain in such a way that just changes, and it's different. I can't explain it. I propose we plan our first practice session as a newly formed band. Mayu nods. When? Right now. I grin. No time like the present. She giggles and raises her violin to her chin. <laughs> Ready. Let's do it. This time, I lead us into a fast-paced tempo, and Mayu easily keeps up. This type of music doesn't seem to be something she's used to, but judging by the smile on her face, she's enjoying herself immensely. And I'm sure I am too. Music is nothing but a, a great thing. I'm glad we got a chance to play with Mayu and start our own band, and I'm going to leave the episode here. Lots of fun today, for sure. As always, if you did enjoy the video, hit the like button there at the bottom. If you're new to the channel, Unleash your power by hitting the subscribe button there down below. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and at SylerClone. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, heroes. May the Force be with you, and have a great rest of your day. Take care. Oh, no, not doing that, huh?